Hello. How's it going, everybody? Uh, Rich from Agroth Enterprises here. I know I'm super late with this, but I wanted to talk a little bit about um, uh, Geese Howard and Tekken 7. He finally came out, like, after whew, half a year of waiting, basically. And, uh, you know, I'd say I'm pretty pleased with how he came out. Um, uh, now, I think Geese was one of the more expected guest characters when we heard that Harada wanted to um, actually have him as a guest. I think I think uh, Lisa was kind of a prototype for him, because if you notice, you know, she has the she has a replicant kind of move with a dark wave, <laughs> and um, uh, I think you know it's a lot of people like Geese. Geese, Geese is a really cool um, iconic character of uh, King of Fighters Fat Fatal Fury games. Uh, I'm personally a little more a fan of his son Brock, but hey, he's still awesome. Um, and I, I am really pleased with how he came out in this game, like because uh, it's like yeah, it's another fighting game character, but it's like. Not someone we've got in a 3D type fighting game. Uh, just like the Kuma be going from a uh, Street Fighter to this game as well. Yeah, I mean, it's also good because it's like usually they always just pick the main characters of games to be the guest character. But I like with the Kuma and Geese, they kind of mixed it up a bit and just show some of like, the iconic villain characters. And um, or it's like some people say it's uh, it's now Bad Dad's the game. <laughs> the Geese, Haihachi, uh, Kazuya, I guess maybe Akuma if the rumor about and being reused that is true but um but anyway uh i think they got most of uh, geese's moves down in the game uh, um he's not slow but he is on the slower side i guess because he's sort of a bigger character i mean he was never like super fast i think in the king of fighters or fatal, yeah, fatal fury games I think they captured that pretty well. Um, one nitpick is I kind of wish they didn't make his replicants blue. Um, thought they were more, I kind of believe more like purple, like how they are in the games. And a rock has blue ones now. I, I, I guess it's just to make it um, aesthetically different from Eliza, who is like all purple energy. Uh, he is he is sort of hard to use, which I guess he, he's definitely I think harder to use than Akuma, which I, I think actually makes a lot of sense because King of Fighters, Fatal Fury, and them, they're, they're much more technical games than Street Fighter, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, but I think I actually kind of like it because as much as I love how Akuma is in Tekken, I think, and I think a lot of other people agree with this, he sort of just feels like he's ripped right from Street Fighter, not adapted that much to Tekken. Um, I mean, he is, but not as much as we'd like, maybe. I feel like Geese feels a bit more like a Tekken character than Akuma does. Uh, which is... Uh, I never thought I'd be saying that. Um, I mean, I guess it's like they phew, it took so much time with him. It's like, damn well, fucking better. <laughs> um, as far as customization items, I think it's, uh, it's been a while since I played Tekken 7. This is kind of... I've been so on and off with it. Uh, I kind of forget, like, what is exclusive him and what's not but uh he has some pretty cool ones i was hoping they would have like a nightmare geese customization like you know where he kind of looks more like a zombie or something like a, what a king of fighters 14 has as an alternate outfit but of course they don't they just have you know, crazy ridiculous stuff I, I do really like the phoenix kimono if you can just like the video i gave him that i actually what i try to do is i sort of made him try to look like a albert wesker a little bit <laughs> it's like wesker but if you wear like a kimono instead of a trench coat basically but yeah, he is definitely a pretty good character. He, he, he's, he does take some time getting used to. I definitely take some time getting used to him. Uh, I'd like to say, no, I, I'd like to say he is pretty good though. Um, like I said, I'm not really a huge competitive person. I don't know. Here's all that mumbo jumbo. Uh, I don't really know where he would rank. I'm so inconsistent with this game. And you know, sometimes I do good with characters. I think I'm amazing with. Sometimes I do bad with them. Sometimes I do good with characters I'm bad with. So I, I don't know. Uh, his stage is really cool. I really like that. Um, his intro is different. If you uh, if he's if he's on his, his stage, um, it also is interesting. This is actually one of the few first few times that Geese actually speaks English. He uh, he always had a Japanese voice. However, he always had a lot of English, like I will stay in the floor with your brother. And uh, it stick it sticks true to Tekken. Uh, having characters speak their native language, and I mean, even though Geese has only really had Japanese voices in the past for the most part, he is a German American, so it makes sense that he can speak English. And um, his, his theme is pretty cool in his uh, stage too. I don't, I don't know if it's a remix. I think it is a remix. I think it is one. Uh, 
There's some more like rock or electronic parts in it that don't sound familiar. But uh, overall, I'm really pleased with these. Um, I would say he is probably maybe my least favorite guest character in the game. Um, but that's not really saying much because I think Akuma, Reese, and soon to be Noctis, I think are really cool guest character choices. I, I may be the minority there, I don't know. I think they're all really good choices, just that Geese. Probably three is probably my least favorite, but, but that's not saying much at all. But he's still awesome. Uh, I think that's it. I just wanted to talk about him briefly, show some you know, you know my customization for him, some of my gameplay. Um, that's it. I'm, I'm really looking forward to Noctis. It's a shame he's kind of a ways off. I, I guess we I'll at least have him in Decidia <laughs> before then. Um, yeah, you know. Well, let me know what you thought of Geese. You know, I'm sorry I'm late because. I'm sure some of, a lot of you have probably played with him by now or seen gameplay footage of him. But, uh, you know, let me know what you thought about him. Um, you know, don't forget to check out Mark Art in the description below. And as I always say, another time, another place. Keep being awesome.